What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going to go over one of the most useful builds in all of Fall 76. We have the ultimate carryway build. Starting off from the build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game carryway build. So if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our ultimate carryway build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have 15 and this one can have strong back at three stars. Gaining plus 30 to carry weight. We have traveling pharmacy maxed out. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have blocker maxed out. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Now for this build, the weapons we do use are melee weapons, so we have incisor maxed out. Your melee weapons and unarmed weapons ignore 75% of your target's armor. We have martial artist maxed out. Your melee weapons weigh 60% less, and you can swing them 30% faster. Over in perception, we have one, and this one can have glow slide at one star. Deal plus 20% of damage to glowing enemies. Over in endurance, we have 15, and this one can have life giver maxed out. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health, and this works amazing with bloody builds. Instead of having to be all the way at 20% health to get the effects from nerd rage, you only have to be at 80% health. We have Kinfeen at 2 stars, any Kims you take lasts 60% longer, and we are taking Psycho Buffs in this video. We have Admantium Skeleton maxed out, your limb damage is now completely eliminated. We have Fireproof maxed out, take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out, the greater the rats, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated maxed out, gain even better benefits from being fully fed and fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 5 and this one can have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. We have Strange in Numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if teammates are also mutated. And sadly, we don't have any teammates, but if I was to run this build, this is how I'd be running it in the normal worlds. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this one can have Batteries included maxed out. Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 90% less and this is fantastic because Energy Weapon Ammo weighs a freaking ton. We have Nerd Rage maxed out, wall below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. Over in agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy at 1 star. Action points regenerate 15% faster. We have through Hiker maxed out. Food and drink weights are reduced by 90%, and this is fantastic because we are carrying a ton of food on us. We have Evasive maxed out. Each agility point adds a plus 3 to damage and energy resist, max 45, no power armor. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gory red pace. We have Serendipity maxed out. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have Ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies' range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak maxed out. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rats, and rat will never cure your mutations. And we have Good with Salt at 1 star. Food in your inventory will spoil 30% slower. This is it though. These are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game carryway build. And now let's get into our legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that make up our in-game carryway build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out, strength at three stars, luck at three stars, hack and slash maxed out, and exploding paw maxed out. These are the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor, weapon, and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives us a gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health. So this means it boosts our strength, which boosts our damage and boosts our carry weight. Now I also recommend you getting a full set of plus one strength to your armor, but sadly I do not have that. Over in the mods, whatever armor you are using, I do recommend the deep pocketed mod because this gives us a plus 10 to carry weight on each piece we have it equipped to. For our backpack, we're using the normal backpack with the high capacity mod, which gives us a 120 to our carry weight. For the under armor, we're using the shielded secret service under armor, and this gives us a plus four to strength, a plus two to perception, and a plus four to endurance. Over the weapons, we have three different weapon types that we're using for the video. We have an unarmed weapon, we have a gladiator weapon, and we have a slugger weapon. Starting off with our unarmed weapon, we have the bloodied mole miner gauntlet, and the bloodied effect gives us the damage increases with the health decreases, and we also have the 40% faster swing speed. Over the mods what we're using with this weapon is the extra blade to get the max amount of damage out of this weapon. We have the bloodied plasma caster, which gives us the damage increases as health decreases, and we also have the 40% faster swing speed with this. And over the mods what we're using is the cryo blade, because that is my personal favorite blade. And for our slugger weapon, we have the bloodied war glaive, which gives us damage increases as health decreases, has the 40% faster swing speed, and we also have the cryo blade with this weapon. Over the mutations. These are all the mutations that we're using for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Carnivore, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Marsupial, Speed Demon, and Twisted Muscles. Now if we make our way over to the food and kim buffs, these are all the food buffs that we're using for the video. These will boost your damage and your carry weight. Starting off, we have Broiled Scorched Beast Brain, which gives us a plus 6 to Intelligence. We have Charged Scorched Beast Liver, which gives us a plus 6 to Luck. We have Deathclaw Wellington, which gives us a plus 6 to Strength. We have Mutant Hound Chops, which gives us a plus 20% to our melee damage. We have the Pepperoni Roll, 
which gives us a plus 60 to our carry, which is absolutely insane. We have the roasted scorched beast heart, which gives us a plus 6 to endurance. And we also ate the scorched beast steak, which gives us a plus 30 to damage resist. Now over in our kin buffs, we have our trusty psycho buffs, and this gives us a plus 25% to damage, a plus 3 to strength, a plus 3 to endurance, and a plus 65 to max health for 3 minutes. With all that equipped and activated, we're setting out a carry weight of 659. Now if we had the plus 1 to strength on all of our armor pieces, that would be boosted up even more. And if I actually had teammates, sadly I do not, but with this being said, now let's get to some demonstrations. To begin our demonstrations with our all powerful carry weight melee build, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super immunes over here that need to be vanquished. There we go, look at that, two shots. We hit over a thousand with this build and we have no melee perks. Well, besides in size, they're martial artists, but still, look at that. Holy crap, we just one shot that dude straight to the face. What about you, sir? All right, maybe if we can get a critical in there. There we go, absolutely amazing. Get off of me, doggy. Now we're gonna switch over to our little plasma cutter. There we go, 615, and that wasn't even a heavy hit. Oh my god. Hello, sir, would you like to fill the power of the plasma cutter? and you're dead. I am extremely impressed because this is mainly focused on carry weight. This build will get you absolutely through this game and also carry everything you have. Hello, sir. Is that all you've got, brother? Let me switch over to my work wave real quick and I'll show you the true power of a frozen lord. Yeah, look at this bad boy. And you're dead. Well, he didn't get to look at it for long, but he still looked at it. Oh, super mutants. We got a few guys up here. Also, I can hit them in vats to get a ton more damage. Look at that. Oh my god, it killed both of them. The next wasteland monstrosity on our list for the demonstration is to feel the power of this carry weight build. We have the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Chad. As you can see, he just woke up, he's screaming, he's yelling, and we're gonna sneak in here and start hitting him with the kneecaps. There we go. Oh my god, my face. A couple 500s. Look at that. 521. Let me chill myself real quick. There we go. We're gonna hit him in the face. That's his critical shots. Okay, we're missing the face. Maybe. Oh, okay. Here, maybe if I just look up. Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry about this. There we go. All right. As you can see, I cannot see the numbers, but he's almost dead. Let me switch to my war glaive. One shot, and he's no more. That was over the thousands, though. For my next target on the list to fill the wrath of the carry weight build, we have my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. And holy crap, they're starting off strong. You see that? Oh my gosh, Nancy. Now let me just slash and gash you with my plasma cutter. Look at that health just dropping. Let's just switch over to the Warglaive real quick because we know this is the most powerful one. Oh, where's all your Scorch friends at, Nancy? Just gonna blast you in the face. There we go. Two shots and she's dead. God dang, they can withstand the power of the carryaway build. What about you, Zax? Could you withstand the power of the carryaway build? If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best hybrid builds in all Fault 76. So if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is my hybrid build video.